going on guys it's your boy switch here bring you guys another cinema 40 tutorial and this is actually bringing you back how i make and you guys smash the 100 challenge for the rust material or rust style tutorial so this is it here it is and we're gonna be showing you guys how to do this exactly this is really really simple stuff guys so i actually made it super easy for you guys so what you gotta do is go ahead and go download the one or 5.5 I think it's 5.5k, right? I think this Halloween special, and I get this add-on uh, pack because this is where I'm going to be using most of my add-ons, attachments, and stuff. And also, don't forget to download the original Rust material that I'm going to give it to you guys. And uh, this is the original one. I use this one for my banners and all that. It's a nice little, perfect, you know, same. This is everything that I do. This is how I make. So this is exactly all the stuff I use and everything. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get started right away. I'm going to put my my material on with Cubic and Seamless, and I'm going to put on a logo of choice. And what I'm going to do is go to that add-on pack that I told you guys to download down below, and uh, I'm just going to bring back the, the, the three the three add-ons that I use, which is the bike chain, the screw, and the virus number five version. So I'm just going to go ahead and control C and then bring it in this one, control V. And I'm just going to add the virus. Uh, the virus is the little meta ball style that I created, like, I don't know how long ago. And I'm just going to add this on certain spots, kind of lower the radius a little bit. I'm just going to add it, trying to fill the space a little bit cuz I did not use nitro blast during this uh <laughs> style making. Congratulations. I didn't use nitro blast. I'm the best. I'm just joking. Um but still. So, oh my god, what the hell? All right, there we go. And add it over here. Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, the worst part. There we go. So yeah, like I said, I did not use Nitro Blast during uh, the creation of Rust Style. I just try to use only add-on effects and stuff like that, which uh, I use the bike chain, like I said, the metal ball style. I bring that back for the Rust material. And also the screw, which I showed a model on how to do. I'll put a tutorial on that too also if you want to make different ones. So there we go. And now I'm going to do is take the bike chain, and I'm going to go ahead and make it bigger a little bit, like so. And I'm going to kind of rotate it and make sure like this one looks like it's kind of facing us in a way. Or give it a nice little pop effect. And I'm gonna do is just make another duplicate. I'm just gonna hold Control and rotate it again and make it mm, kind of. Let me just make it over here. Yeah, no, maybe so. Mm. Oh, what if I pop it out a little bit? How about that? That's gonna have to do because I like that a little bit. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the screw. And I'm going to just fill it the areas that I didn't the areas the areas that I did not you know kind of like touch up with all the other uh, effects that I did. So I'm going to kind of just take the screws and I'm just going to go ahead and just pop them out like so. You can either pop them out uh, this way, like I'm uh, the point to the, the the outside or whatever, or you can just rotate it any second and uh, just take the top of it and make that one pop out make them smaller make it whatever you want to do I don't know do something weird if you want to have like the screw inside like a bike chain like stuck or something I don't know if you can do that but if you have any other like rusty like type of field objects like if I don't know if you guys want to use a like a like a screw I use a screw bike chain because those are kind of like the things that get rusty if you have any other like cool idea that you can use that as a rust uh, you can use the rust material on to make it look all rusty and cool uh, I can do that just gonna have these three from my choice the one I did and I'm going to go ahead and add it right there. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna add the the rust material the rest to the rest of my thingy majiggers. Here we go. I'm just holding control to make a duplicate of it and drag in it. There we go. So there it is. That's as simple as that. It really was not that difficult. All I did was add effects or put add-ons on top of a render that I have the rust material on. Uh, if you want to add Nitro Blast, you can. Otherwise, you're already done with the, the render, and that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and like pause this video. You're going to see it cut to Photoshop and stuff, and then you guys will see all the stocks and stuff because you can also go ahead and download the Rust Style Setup Banner, the Banner Setup whatever PSD that comes with the CC also, and the Rust Material stocks that I use in almost the exact order so you guys cannot mess up. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and go to Photoshop. I'm going to open up you know a nice little template for us to work in, and we'll see you guys there. So stay tuned. Peace. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the second part of the video, which we're going to be making this banner right here. We're going to just be replicating this, this exact same thing, the whole type of like back, the, the, yeah, the freaking banner background. You can see how just like really, really nicely it's done. And uh, the CC itself just literally like makes the whole entire thing. And the, the material in the CC just makes the whole entire banner, to be honest. And uh, so what I'm going to do is delete this. 
and I'm going to show you this is the render what it, uh, this is what it came out as when it came out of Cinema 4D. So we're gonna just put this in Photoshop, and then we're just gonna get our do our thing. It's real simple, simple stuff. I'm probably not gonna be doing too much like you know like talking because there's really nothing I can say besides uh, just lower the opacity to almost the exact same uh, opacity that I'm gonna be lowering it to because that's just basically how it's gonna be. And uh, I, can I not like take this off? When I I guess not. And I'm gonna just lower this, just make this a little bit more smaller. Do it like this. Move this about right here. Zoom in a little bit. So yeah, what was I gonna say? I was just there's nothing else to it besides just me adding stocks and lowering the opacity, and uh, that's basically it. Because you guys have the exact stocks that I use in almost the exact order that I put them in, so you don't have to worry about that at all. And uh, the CC here, so you just drag in the CC. I have the same exact CC. And uh, so yeah, this is it. I'm gonna do is just like kind of take this off for now. I'm gonna rasterize this layer. I'm just gonna make this Rust tutorial, and I'm gonna make a duplicate of it. And we're gonna do a simple, simple, really simple render setup. What I'm gonna do is just go to Filter Gallery, and I'm gonna go to Stylize, and I'll put Glowing Edges, and I'm gonna change my Glowing Edges settings to 1, 11, and 4. Press OK. Put the opacity, or change the, the layer style to screen, lower the opacity a little bit. And then that's basically all I did for the Rust style setup. Uh, I did probably add more textures, but I wanna go through all that. Uh, just, you can do it if you want. If you have any favorite textures or grunge textures to put on it, you do that. Otherwise, this is how it looks with the, the, the grilling edges. Kind of like just glows the edges exactly what it does. And uh, that's all it did. So I'm going to do now is to make a new layer. Or I'm going to combine these two together first. Then I'll make a new layer. I'm going to take a white. I'm going to take the same white as my banner right here, which is basically like not totally white. I just lowered it a little bit. Press OK. Take my brush. Uh, shift and Alt. Just If you just right left with the brush while the brush is enabled, it just makes the brush smaller and bigger. And if you press up and down the brightness or the hardness will go, you know, it's, it's plain and simple. It just does what it does. And then I'm just going to just lower the, just make a nice little brush size. And I'm just going to go outside the banner and just click once with the white. Uh, this is called lighting effects or whatever. Press opa uh, go to your passage, just lower it down a little bit. What I'm going to do now is go to the new layer. I'm going to take an orange, so this is the same orange as the rust style, like the orange rust. And what I'm going to do is just take that, and I'm just going to put it up a little bit, press OK, go to my brush, hit it one time on the bottom, and I'm just going to lower the opacity. I don't know how much, I guess that's good enough. And uh, for now, that's just going to have to be our lighting for now. It just It's simple, it's just really nice and quick. It just puts a little bit of color in the banner, and we're going to add a little bit more afterwards, after we're done with the whole entire thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go add some of the stocks now. So it's real simple stuff, and it could just follow me exactly. It's just how I do it exactly, how I make the Rust banner. And I'm going to just take this nice grunge. I'm going to Control alt or Control or Alt-Shift uh, to make the duplicate all the way through the banner. You want to do that. Make sure you guys do that for all the stocks. And I'm going to do now is just going to lower the opacity to about maybe 25 or so, 30, whichever fits the deal. I guess 27 is fine. And uh, what I'm going to do now is add this other stock. I'm going to add this one. And I do not know why. I bet you all these, like some of these are like all changed. Yeah, they are. All right, but anyways, I'm gonna add this one and drag it in. Copy it all the way through. Combine it all together. Forgot this one. And I'm just gonna put this one on lighten or I don't know. I'm gonna put it on screen. Yeah, I'm put it on screen. And uh, I'm going to load the opacity down to about 15 or so. 16 is fine. Actually, no. You can still see. You can just see I'm trying to like blend it a little bit. It'll look better because when I add st uh, these stocks on top of each other, it just like, makes it really, really nice because you got to put some on lighting, which will up the, the light effect or the opacity on the ones below it. I'm just going to go ahead and just alt shift it through. Duplicate. Control E. Merge. Put this on light in. Put this opacity to about 13 or so. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to here, go to the next one. And now this was really simple. It's just like a texture. You don't want to like always keep textures really high. Uh, it's just really just about the lighting thing and just I don't know the color itself just kind of helps out. I always like this one, so I'm going to put this one on. Control E, and I'm going to put this to about. I'm just going to lower it to about seven. And now you can see what that kind of did. I'm going to uncheck and check. Kind of see it kind of fills it a little bit in the background. And it gives it a really nice little light. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just click above the rust, uh, whatever render I did. And I'm going to take some of these other effects or some of these other uh, add-ons or stocks. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> and just go ahead and just play them on with these. I'm going to put these on top of the render. Uh, there really isn't much to talk about, which sucks PP. I said PP sucks dick. 
don't know what the fuck. <laughs> All right, Control E, go to here, go to Lighten, change this opacity to about six or so. All depends on you. I'll just put it up a little bit more. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the blending. So well, this is what we added just now. Since I can uncheck and I'll render, there we go. So you can see that it kind of fills these spots here. And that was the whole plan about this whole entire rust backing, which is trying to fill spots with really nice textures. So you can kind of see, I'm just going to kind of zoom in and kind of show you guys what we did so far. So we did that, then we added this, then we added that, and then we added the, well, we added the render already, but then we added this. And then now we're going to do is we are going to just add smoke which is the last one I'm going to use. You can use any other stuff. Uh, if you have any other favorite stocks, you could, but this is just how I did it. I'm going to do now. Control Alt. Press the eraser. Oops. Come on, duplicate it. Erase this part. Duplicate it again. Duplicate it again. And there we go. Then I'm going to put this on screen. Lower the opacity. Or lighten's fine, I guess. Uh, no, screen. And we're just going to lower the opacity. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish it off with a color. Uh, like I told you, just lower the brush size really quick. And I'm gonna put the color on the top and on the bottom, like so. What I'm going to do now is take this, lower the opacity, and I'll just give it a nice, nice fill. And it kind of like makes everything more of a reddish color, which kind of like fills the rust into everything, I guess you can say. See how that works? Really, really, really looks nice. And what you can do now is finalize it by just pulling everything together. Press Control J, Control E, and I'll go to your filter. Go to Blur, Gaussian Blur. Change it to about three. Lower the opacity, and then go ahead and just do it again. Control E, go to Filter, Blur, Lens Blur, and put that at about seven is fine. And lower the opacity. And what I'm going to do is just lower or erase background like so on this one and then leave it the render itself just slow the opacity a little bit more and there we go that's basically how I did it so if you want to add anything else besides like uh, the this the, the what is it called displacement effect I'll put that tutorial down below if you want to add that to the render uh, any other things you want to add you could it's just it just really really looks nice I always love this style it's one of my favorite styles but I'm giving it to you guys to explore with it and stuff and the rust material to explore with and also the same socks and the CC so hopefully you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys next video. I hope you guys really, this helped you out a little bit or whatever, because you guys really, really wanted this. You guys broke the challenge by almost 250 more likes, which is ridiculous. So thank you guys so much. So I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, request any tutorials down below, and I'll see you guys later. So that's what you out. Peace.